So with cases of COVID-19 going down in our country, it is but very important that we should not forget about the overall safety protocols. We know that under 1,000 new cases nationwide nowadays, under 3% positivity rate, and under 20,000 active cases. This so far has been one of the best news our country had since the pandemic. However, it is but very important that we appeal to all people to please remain vigilant as none of these numbers are considered irreversible. In fact, we know here from the news that Austria, one of the many countries with the highest vaccination rates, have already gone to lockdown again due mainly to unvaccinated and importantly to the early removal of masking and other safety protocols. In other words, keeping our cases low will remain and should remain a responsibility for each one of us. Simply put, please convince your friends or siblings or your relatives to vaccinate. Wear a mask when we go out and importantly, adherence to safety protocols will hopefully all ensure all of us a bright Christmas and a better new year. So now that our country has already started rolling out booster shots initially for healthcare workers and frontliners, now the Department of Health has started to release guidelines for the elderly and the immunocompromised under the A2 and A3 booster category or the so-called additional dose. So what then are these guidelines for our elderly or senior citizens? Let's watch this. Now, the recommendations that I'll be putting forward here in this video are solely based on the expert opinions brought about by the expert advisory group in our country, the All Expert Group. This basically is composed of the Department of Health Technical Advisory Group, or the TAG, the National Immunization Technical Advisory Group, or the NETAG, the National Adverse Event Following Immunization Committee, the NIFEC, the Health Technology Assessment Council, their HTAC, and the Department of Science and Technology, or the DOST Vaccine Expert Panel. So let me summarize some of the updated guidelines for all A2 seniors and immunocompromise, or A3, those with comorbidity. And this includes the following, immunodeficiency state, HIV disease, active cancer or malignancy, those who are recipients of transplant or transplant patients, and those presently under immunosuppressive agents. Now, we know that since A3 or the immunocompromised group may have specific conditions which warrant a specific booster type and the proper timing of boosting, then it is recommended that these groups of people should have a certificate or a medical issue from the attending physician to certify a certain specific booster brand and a timing, whether it's heterologous or homologous third dose that would be indicated. So there are questions whether we are talking about a booster or a third dose of the primary. Now, there are some confusion with regard to terminology. While the World Health Organization recommends a third dose for the primary series for A2 and immunocompromised with homologous series, the, on the other hand, the United States Centers for Disease Control uses the term booster and differentiate immunocompromised individuals. Now, locally, our Department of Health decided to call the additional dose for seniors as boosters to align with the US CDC and allow now heterologous vaccination. This also aligns 
with the emergency use authorization provisions of these different allowed vaccines. So to align with the emergency use authorization, boosters additional dose are given six months after the second dose. Now, this is different from other guidelines where the third dose can be given as part of the primary seizures as early as 28 days from the second dose. Now, these recommendations at present, these guidelines that I'm going to put forward are still temporary and may change anytime when more data come out. So what are these guidelines? So for those seniors who are getting the booster shots, again, only one dose of any of the four vaccines are so far allowed. And this includes Sinovac, Astra, Pfizer, or half dose of the Moderna vaccine. Now, this needs, again, to be given six months after the second dose, with the exception of J&J, &J, which is three months from the first and only dose. So the question, therefore, a lot of my patients are asking me, which boosters should they get, considering that they're senior citizens? Now, remember all the different combinations proposed by the Department of Health, as well as recommendations by the World Health Organization, remain valid and can be availed of. Now, for A2 seniors vaccinated with Sinovac, or Sinopharm. There are a lot of you who are asking me, Doc, how about Sinopharm? So here's the recommendations. For those who have been vaccinated either with Sinovac or Sinopharm, what we recommend is homologous third dose with Sinovac or Sinopharm, respectively. And why do we do this? Why do we recommend it? Because heterologous vaccination with either Pfizer or half-dose Moderna is allowed. Yes, you can have it, but would specifically avoid among frail seniors because of some more are or increased adverse events with mRNA vaccines. Heterologous vaccination with Astra is also allowed, but again, we caution those with frail who are frail seniors, especially with those history of blood clots. Now, for A2 seniors who have been vaccinated with Astra, the recommendation is heterologous vaccination with an mRNA vaccine, either Pfizer or half dose of Moderna, not the full dose, okay? As the antibody response has been shown to be better with heterologous vaccination. Now, why don't we recommend Astra as the added booster? Because for vector vaccines in general, whether we're talking about Astra, Janssen, or Gamalea, we avoid Astra booster dose due to theoretical decreased effectiveness from the developed antibodies against the viral carrier. Now, for A2 seniors who have been vaccinated with the mRNA vaccines, whether it's Pfizer or Moderna, then you do get vaccination with the same brand, either Pfizer or half dose of the Moderna. Now, for the A3 immunocompromised individuals vaccinated with Sinovac or Sinopharm, again, we recommend homologous third dose with Sinovac or Sinopharm, respectively, as per the World Health Organization interim recommendations. Although heterologous uh, vaccination with Pfizer or half dose Moderna is allowed, and they should be considered in those who may need higher protection. Heterologous vaccination with Astra is likewise allowed and has been shown to also result in higher protection. For A3 immunocompromised vaccinated with Astra, the recommendation is heterologous vaccination with an MRAA vaccination, either Pfizer or half a dose of Moderna. Again, Heteral, I mean, homologous um, vaccination with the same brand if the A3 was vaccinated with an mRNA vaccine, either with a Pfizer or half-dose Moderna. Of note, the US CDC recommends full-dose Moderna for the immunocompromised, but this is not covered by our current emergency use authorization. Moderna half a dose still contains mRNA of around 50 micrograms than full Pfizer dose. So I still recommend using Moderna vaccine. 
Again, the above are general recommendations suggested by experts in the field advising our local Department of Health. And as always, each decision needs to be individualized based on the risk, safety, and availability of the brand. So in fact, the decision includes for some who may elect, who may elect not taking a booster at this time. Some may still await more data as more data becomes available, particularly that the final uh, SAGE recommendations by the World Health Organization will come sometime in December. So for now, there is still no go signal yet for the general population or for age three who are not immunocompromised. So please wait for further guidance. Again, my appeal to everyone is please remain vigilant. We hope to keep these numbers down in our country. You can now enjoy outdoors with your family and friends. But again, always protect yourself from COVID-19 because COVID is still there by continuously wearing a mask at this time. Remember that COVID-19 virus is airborne and therefore no matter if you're vaccinated, infection can still set in. So be extra careful. If you go shopping, shop for one hour, buy the things you need, and then get out of any enclosed spaces. With this, I hope this video helps for those seniors who are asking regarding booster shots. Stay tuned and stay safe. See you again soon. Thank you.